You only have to do three things to achieve some of the very mystical, seemingly superhuman powers that yoga offers. Um, in fact, they're not superhuman, they are human. One, unblock the blockages within yourself. Two, find a way of moving the energy and information that is natural to us and is all around us and within us. Find a way of moving that through us. And then three, experience the paradise that is the natural state of our inner being. The ultimate state of yoga is one when we realize that we are all connected. But the initial state of yoga, the state of hatha yoga or physical yoga, is where we just learn how to connect ourselves and appreciate that our brain and our body are connected as one. What you may or may not have already seen in the beautiful exhibition here are beautiful uh, drawings which demonstrate the essence of physical or hatha yoga and what these drawings show are chakras or energy centers within the body. It also shows uh, the channels called nadis in yoga which are related to blood vessels, nerves, lymphatic vessels, acupuncture meridians similar to this that go mm, all the way through the body, 72,000 different channels it is written. It is also talked about that there are between, depending on where you read it, between 6 and 14 main chakras or energy centers. But, in fact, in the teachings I've been given, there's 108 different energy centers all throughout the body. These energy centers, which you see in the beautiful drawings here, are, you can think of them like windmills. When the wind is not flowing, then you don't see the windmill turn. But when the wind flows, the windmill turns and energy is generated. So we have these windmills inside our body, which in the yoga terms are called chakras. And we can move energy and information, called in the texts prana and chitta, which on more scientific terms include things like heat energy, electrical energy, glucose, ATP, um, neurotransmitters, immunotransmitters, hormones, through our body. And in this way, you move energy and information. And as this energy and information moves through these subtle channels, which you see in the beautiful drawings here, you begin to turn the turbines of these windmills called chakras inside yourself. And then there is an extra additional energy we find inside ourselves. The essence of opening these channels comes out of relaxation. And the most important control we have over relaxation inside ourselves on a physical level is the ability to use the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the large muscle that sits where my hands sit now, just below the ribs. When we breathe in the most natural way, the diaphragm moves downwards. And in a natural state, perhaps the most natural state is when we're asleep. The diaphragm works at its best. And I believe that perhaps the reason why most people have to sleep so much is because of the lack of use of the diaphragm in everyday life. A lot of people tend to breathe into their chest. There's nothing wrong with breathing into the chest if you actually are doing it in a controlled and conscious way. But if you wish to try some simple exercises, most people will appreciate that actually the only reason people breathe into the chest is because of an internal tension which actually causes constriction of the energy within you, it causes dysfunction of your digestive system, your immune system and your reproductive system. When you free up the diaphragm and free up your internal organs, you'll find that energy flows a lot better, you're a lot more relaxed and you have what's called relaxation power. Put one hand on your chest, one hand on your abdomen. Fully relax. If you're sitting on a chair, maybe move away from the back of the chair so you can sit up straight. And while sitting up straight or standing comfortably, gently relax your abdomen fully. Relax the abdomen completely. Let it all hang out, you know, like your mother said, don't do. Let your abdomen fully relax. And with your abdomen fully relaxed, breathe into the belly. And feel how as you breathe into the belly, the chest doesn't move, but your hand on the abdomen moves outwards. The hands here are a form of biofeedback. Don't let the hand on the chest move. Simply let the hand on the abdomen move outwards as you breathe in. 
And notice the more you relax your abdomen, the more relaxing it feels. Now, as a counter movement, I'd like you to tighten your abdomen by pulling the navel in towards your spine. So pull your navel in towards the spine and firm the abdomen as best as you can. This is something which many people are taught to do and actually practice.